the Book of Toth, Emerald Tablet Number Four, The Spaceborn. List ye, O man, to the voice of wisdom. List to the voice of Toth, the Atlantean. Freely I give thee of my wisdom, gathered from the time and space of this cycle. Master of mysteries, son of the morning, Toth, the teacher of men, is of all. Long time ago, I, in my childhood, lay neath the stars on long-buried Atlantis, dreaming of mysteries far above men. So in his childhood, Atlantis was buried. Long time ago, I, in my childhood, lay beneath the stars on long-buried Atlantis, dreaming of mysteries far above men. Then in my heart grew there a great longing to conquer the pathway that led to the stars, Year after year I sought after wisdom, seeking new knowledge, following the way, until at last my soul, in great travail, broke from its bondage and bounded away. It's a type of astral travel, I think he's implying. And free was I from the bondage of earthmen, free from the body. I flashed through the night. Unlocked at last, for me, was the star space. Far was I from the bondage of night, now to the end of space sought I wisdom, far beyond knowledge of finite man. Far into space my soul travelled freely into infinite circle of light. Strange beyond knowledge were some of the planets, great and gigantic beyond dreams of men. Yet found I law, in all of its beauty, working through and among them as here among men. Flashed forth my soul through infinite's beauty, far through space I flew with my thoughts. Rested I there on a planet of beauty. Strains of harmony filled all the air. Shapes there were moving in order, great and majestic as stars in the night. Mounting in harmony, ordered equilibrium, symbols of the cosmic, like unto law. Many of the stars I passed in my journey, many the races of men on their worlds. Some reaching high as stars of the morning, some falling low in the blackness of night. Each and all of them struggling upward, gaining the heights and plumbing the depths. Moving at times in realms of brightness, living through darkness, gaining the light. Know, O oh man, that light is thine heritage. Know that darkness is only a veil. Sealed in thine heart is brightness eternal, waiting the moment of freedom to conquer, waiting to rend the veil of the night. Some I found who had conquered the ether, free of space were they while yet they were men. Very interesting. Some I found who had conquered the ether, free of space were they while yet they were men. Using the force that is the foundation of all things, Far in space constructed they a planet, drawn by the force that flows through the all, condensing and coalescing the ether into forms that grew as they willed. Outstripping in science, they, all of the races, mighty in wisdom, son of the stars. This last sentence is important. Outstripping in science, they, all of the races, mighty in wisdom, son of the stars. They had the best technology to the point that telepathy could turn into an action and create large events using the basic force of the ether. It sounds sound very incredible. Long time I paused watching their wisdom, saw them create from out of the ether cities gigantic of rose and gold, formed forth from the primal element, base of all matter, the ether far flung. Very impressive race, whoever they might be. Far in the past, they had conquered the ether, freed themselves from the bondage of toil, formed in their mind only a picture, and swiftly created it grew. Forth then my soul sped throughout the cosmos, seeing ever new things and old, learning that man is truly space-born, a son of the sun, a child of the stars. So the pattern that makes us humanoid and, that, and our origins go much, much further than we might imagine.
Know ye, O man, whatever form ye inhabit, surely it is one with the stars. Thine bodies are nothing but planets revolving around their central suns. When ye have gained the light of all wisdom, free shall ye be to shine in the ether one of the suns. Ether, E-T-H-E-R, one, ether one of the suns that light out of darkness, one. This is a hard sentence, I'll say it again. Free shall ye be to shine in the ether one of the suns that light out of darkness one of the space born grown into light. Ether one, darkness one, uh, one word. Just as the stars in time lose their brilliance, light passing from them into the great source, so, O man, thy soul shall pass onward, leaving behind the darkness of night. It implies an eternality to living beings. Formed forth ye from the primal ether, filled with the brilliance that flows from the source. Bound by the ether, coalesced around, yet ever it flames until at last it is free. Lift up your flame from out of the darkness, fly from day night, and ye shall be free. Traveled I through the space-time, knowing my soul at last was set free, knowing that now I might pursue wisdom, until at last I passed to a plane hidden from the knowledge of men, not known to wisdom, extensions beyond all that we know. Know, O oh man, when I had this knowing, happy my soul grew, for now I was free. List ye, ye space-born, or list to my wisdom. Know ye, know ye not that ye too will be free?